Hello and welcome to another episode of Red vs Blue Mesh Highlights. This is our 12th game of the season. Blue team has the ball. Slava passes the ball to Vadim. Vadim sneaks the ball past the two defenders to Roberto. And Roberto scores the first goal for the blue team. Vadim sets up a nice ball for Roberto. And Roberto puts the ball away at the near post. And blue team starting out the game with the lead. Blue team's attacking again. Vadim has the ball, he passes the ball to Igor, and Igor scores second goal for the blue team. Vadim registered second assist of the game, he gives the ball to Igor, and Igor nagmaks the goalie, and red teams down two goals early on in the game. Here I make a nice play as I pull the ball back and lay it off to Vadim. Vadim crosses the ball back to me, and I touch the ball to put it past the goalie. Vadim makes third straight assist of the game, and blue team look very solid with the three goals advantage. Vadim has enough space to shoot on the goal, and blue team is up 4-0. After setting up three first goals, Vadim finally gets to score a goal, as he shoots on the far post with a lot of pace on it. I took the ball from Vova and then I shot the ball from the distance but instead of scoring a goal I hit one of the kids who were standing behind the goal. Sorry little fella, I did not mean to hurt you. After he got hit with the ball he started crying so I went to him to apologize. A couple of other players came over to comfort him too. Okay, so back to the game. Vadim has the ball, he lays it off back to Roberto, and Roberto chips the ball over the goalie. And now blue team has commanding lead of 5 goals. It seems that Roberto was trying to chip the ball over to me, so I could head the ball in. But instead, the ball went straight into the goal. Jerry, the red team goalie, was trying to catch the ball, but it was way too fast for him. Slava takes a corner kick for blue team, but Andre clears the ball out with the header. Vovo is first to get to the ball, he miscontrolled it, and the ball bounced in front of Vadim. And blue team is destroying red team to pieces, as they are leading by 6 goals. This has been the biggest lead for either team in this season, before the other team scored their first goal. Slava was trying to get the ball to me, but Vova intercepted it, and he sets up Dima to go one on one with the goalie. Dima makes great initial touch to go by past the goalie, and red teams finally score their first goal of the game. Serge has the ball as red teams trying to start another attack. Serge lays the ball off to Vova, and Vova finds Dima open on the left side. Red teams not giving up yet. They're trying to fight back as they score two straight goals in the game. Slava crosses the ball to Matthew. Matthew controls it and shoots past the goalie. Matthew chips the ball over to Vadim, but Valera intercepts it and ball bounces to Andre. Andre takes the ball off the field as red team is trying to start a counter attack. As Andre gets away from Slava, he decides to shoot and red team scores the third goal of the game. Andre shoots the ball with the left foot as he goes for placement rather than power. I wasn't able to block the shot, but blue team still winning by four goals. Vova got mad at Dima that he didn't cross the ball to Serge, 
but you can see that Dima got barely to the ball before I close him down. As Vova and Dima was arguing, Vadim scored a half-field goal. Roberto gets the ball from Vadim, he goes around Elo, he shoots, hits the post, ball bounces to Igor, and Igor taps it in. Blue team attacking again, Robert gets the ball, he shoots, and blue team is winning by 7 goals. Vadim gets the ball, he splits the two defenders and gives the ball back to Roberto, and Roberto slides in and scores another nice goal. Blue team's going for another attack as they're just demolishing the red team. Vadim crosses the ball to me, I control it and then I shoot the ball right in the corner before a defender could clear the ball. Jerry, the red team goalie, was not expecting me to get to the ball first. That's why he didn't react in time to make a save for the red team. Valero receives the ball from Andre, he moves towards the blue team's goal. Since no one from the blue team closed him down, he shoots a low ball and scores fourth goal for the red team. Looks like Slava made a mistake moving his right leg up when Valera was shooting the low ball. Since the ball went under his leg, goalie didn't have time to react to block the ball. Sorry, Vadim. My bad, I have a parole. Not sure to whom Igor was trying to pass the ball, but I was able to recover it and lay it off to Vadim. And Vadim shoots right in the bottom left corner, and red team is losing by 9 goals. I set up Vadim with a nice placement of the ball, so all he had to do is just shoot the ball. And Vadim put a nice spin on the ball, to spin the ball into the bottom left corner. Dima gets the ball from Matthew, he controls it with his chest. And as he made a turn, he saw that the goal was wide open. And he scores an easy goal for the red team. I get a nice assist from Vadim. And I caress the ball past the goalie and into the goal. As Matthew, red team goalie, was trying to close me down. Vadim sends the ball up front for me. I was able to get to the ball and then I saw Edik right in the middle and I crossed the ball to him. Edik is our little Lionel Messi. He shoots and scores the goal past Matthew. In last game I called Edik Pasha Jr. I couldn't remember his name but I knew his dad name is Pasha so I decided to call him Pasha Jr. He made an assist for the last goal in game 11. Edik is about 6 or 7 year old. And here's Edic scores a golden goal. Red team score goal number 6. Dima as usual stands in his sweet spot. He usually stands right by the post and wait for the pass. This time he got assist from Andre. Dima scores a consolation goal for the red team as he gets an assist from Serge. Here's the final score of the game. Blue team end up winning by 8 goals. This is the biggest goal difference that any team have won this season. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And also make sure to hit the bell for more post notifications. And we'll see you next time. Quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio.